गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट विद द चैप्टर नंबर फोर्टीन दैट इज हाउ बिग हाउ हैवी चैप्टर नंबर फोर्टीन हाउ बिग हाउ हैवी सो द टूडेज फर्स्ट टॉपिक इज द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ वॉल्यूम एंड सेकेंड इज विच हैज मोर वॉल्यूम so now through this story we will try to learn the concept of volume so let's read it sarika collects things like marbles coins erasers etc she takes some water in a glass and marks the level of water as zero so here you can see the glasses are here so she says that if i drop five marbles in this glass can you guess what will be the level of water so this is the level of water where it is written as zero now she saying that she will put how many marbles five marbles 1 2 3 4 and 5 marbles so what will be the means the volume of this glass now so definitely the water will take up now the boy is saying that i think this much so he is pointing here now she drops five marbles in the glass she marks the new level of water as five marbles so the boy was right so it was the level of the water now after putting five marbles so oh how did you guess do you know the volume of a marble if the boy know the volume of one marble so he can easily find the what will be the correct volume of this water in this glass so that is asking sarika i just made a guess about how much water will be pushed up by the marbles how do you find the volume so he just guess okay that it may be the volume of the glass so sarika is saying that yes volume it is so she saying that see each marble pushes up some water right that is because it takes up some space which is its volume so here we can see the definition of volume that any 3d shapes any three dimensional shapes takes some space so that is the volume or in another way we can say that the occupied space by three dimensional shapes are called its volume now you are measuring glass now make a guess do you think the volume of 10 5 rupee coins will be more than that of 10 marbles so no i think volume of 10 marbles will be more than 5 rupees coins because marbles are big in size now guess the volume of each of these first one a ball is nearly dash marbles so a ball which one i will take tennis ball so tennis ball around i think 10 marbles and an eraser is nearly dash marbles so we have to just guess and eraser is nearly about taking two marbles and a lemon is nearly 
थ्री मार्बल्स एंड अ पेंसिल इज नियरली टू मार्बल्स एंड अ पटेटो इज नियरली टेन मार्बल्स सो इट इज जस्ट गैसिंग द आंसर मे बी चेंज अकॉर्डिंग टू यू नाउ मेक यूर ओन मेजरिंग ग्लास यूजिंग थर्टी फाइव मार्बल्स सो लेट सी टेक अ ग्लास ऑफ वॉटर एंड मार्क द लेवल ऑफ वॉटर एज जीरो देन पुट इन फाइव मार्बल्स एंड मार्क द लेवल ऑफ वॉटर एज फाइव एम मीन्स इफ यू टेकिंग फाइव मार्बल्स सो यू विल मार्क एज फाइव एम इन द ग्लास सिमिलरली यू विल टेक टेन मार्बल्स मार्क दियर टेन एम सिमिलरली फिफ्टीन ट्वेंटी थर्टी एंड थर्टी फाइव मार्बल्स एंड सो ऑन दिस वे यू कैन जस्ट मार्क ओके नाउ हियर इज एन एक्टिविटी नाउ पुट ईज थिंग इन द मेजरिंग क्लास एंड चेक यूर गैस ट्राई विथ डिफरेंट थिंग्स लाइक अ मैच बॉक्स द स्टोन एक्सेट्रा एंड फिल द टेबल सो इट इज सेंग दैट यू हैव टू टेक सम थिंग्स लाइक मैच बॉक्स वेजिटेबल लाइक टमेटो सराउंडिंग यू विल कलेक्ट सम थिंग्स एंड यू विल फाइंड इट्स वॉल्यूम दैट हाउ मैनी मार्बल्स इट कैन occupied for example match box its volume will be yeah i think 5 marble and then tomato 7 marbles so in this way you have to do this activity now which has more volume so the sarika is saying that can you tell me the volume of 6 marbles in ml so the boy is saying yes if we make a measuring bottle so in class 4 you made a measuring bottle for 250 ml can you think of ways for making a measuring bottle which can measure 10 ml 20 ml 30 ml and 60 ml discuss with your friend so similarly this type of activity we will do here so here is a way Tariq and Molly made their measuring bottles. How? Tariq had an injection. He used it to make his measuring bottle. Molly used an empty medicine bottle. Now, I took five ml once in my injection. I filled it twice to mark ten ml. on my bottle so here tarik is taking an injection and its capacity is 5 ml and to wise means two times in a bottle so we can write that a simple calculation we can make here tarik just put two times okay so 2 and 5 ml Two times five ml, so it is two five ja ten ten ml. Okay, and when he will drop four times, means four and five ml. So four five ja twenty twenty ml. So its capacity will be twenty ml. Similarly, to get thirty ml, how many times? he will pour it he will pour it six times because 
is equal to 6 multiply 5 ml. Okay, so 6 times he will drop 5 ml of water by taking the same injection. In this way, 10 ml, 20 ml and 30 ml of marking they can do easily. Now, Molly is saying that I used this bottle which measures 10 ml to make my measuring bottle. So, she also using it for making measuring bottle. Now, Molly used her measuring bottle to find the volume of 5 rupee coins. She found that 9 5 rupee coins push up 10 ml of water. So, you can also use 9 5 rupee coins to make your measuring bottle. Go ahead. Now, she is saying that 9 5 rupees coins of that is making 10 ml of water 9 5 rupees coins that is making 10 ml so this is the capacity of 9 5 rupees coin so if he will take 18 5 rupees coins 18 5 rupees coins okay so what will be its capacity now Yes, here you can see 18 is double of 9. So, what is the double of 10 ml? So, 20 ml. It will be 20 ml. Similarly, now let's make it 3 times. So, 9 3 ja, it is 27. So, when we will take 27 coins of 5 rupees 27 coins of 5 rupees so it will be 30 ml because 27 is 3 times of 9 so what is the 3 times of 10 10 3 ja 30 so 30 ml now use your measuring bottle to find out a. What is the volume of 6 marbles? Dash ml. So, it's an activity. You can do it yourself. Now, some questions are here. A. Molly put some 5 rupee coins in the measuring bottle. How many coins has she put in it? First, if 30 ml water is pushed up here 10 ml water is pushed up by 9 coins 10 ml water is pushed up by 9 coins okay so 30 ml water is pushed up by 30 multiplied 9 divided by 10 0 0 cut it 9 3 ja 27 so 27 coins so here write 27 coins second if 60 ml water is pushed up 10 ml water is pushed up by 9 coins 10 ml water is pushed up by 9 coins so, 60 ml water is pushed up by 60 multiplied 9 divided by 10. 0, 0, cut it. 6, 9, ja, 54. So, 54 coins. Right here, 54 coins. Now, first guess and then use your measuring bottle to find out the volume in ml of some other things things and its volume in ml students you can do it yourself students further we will continue in next video thank you